Almost Jerry Lee Lewis, his 30 acre ranch estate in DeSoto County, Joe, went up for sale in early January, just over two months after his death. We're talking about Nesbitt, Mississippi. Controversy has fallen upon the estate between Lewis's youngest son and the family who legally now owns this property. Action News 5's Parker King has been digging through decades of property records. He joins us now live in studio to explain what's going on. Parker? Yeah, Joe Joy, some interesting results here. While he bought and lived in the home and on the grounds for over 40 years, Jerry Lee Lewis's name wasn't on the deed of the property. It was in the name of another man, Cecil Harrelson. This drama is damaging the legacy. Mary Jean Ferguson is the daughter of Cecil Harrelson, Jerry Lee Lewis's longtime friend from growing up in Louisiana, later his manager and brother-in-law, marrying Lewis's sister, Linda Gale Lewis. He's also the man whose name is on the deed for the Lewis Ranch in Nesbitt, particularly to protect the property from being seized by the IRS. Lewis had a history of run-ins with them for failure to pay taxes. He wanted to protect the ranch, but he also wanted to reward my dad. My dad was loyal to him. Uncle Jerry was like a lifetime tenant that didn't pay rent. So in other words, he could live there until he passed away. Harrelson passed in 2013, passing the ranch to Mary Jean and her two siblings. A third of the property is also owned by the descendants of attorney Carlton Barnes, payment for doing legal work for Harrelson in the 70s. All the descendants have decided to sell the ranch. Lee Lewis, the youngest son of Jerry Lee, who has been living on the property, took to Facebook, saying the news of the sale shocked him. He since started a GoFundMe with a goal to raise $80,000 for a down payment on the home, saying in part, quote, it is clear that dad was confident he owned the ranch and that it would go to me when he passed. Cecil Harrelson passed away before my father and thus did not have the opportunity to honor my father's wishes. Instead, he left his interest in the ranch to his own children. What concerns me is people donating to something that is, is, is that's not based in fact. According to the youngest Lewis son, he's been ordered to vacate the home by March 5th. I, I don't wish him any ill, but we have to do what's right for us and, and do the best we can. Now, though it's technically up for sale, there's still debate on how to proceed with selling the ranch. If it's a listing, an auction, a private deal, they don't know yet, though Ferguson said they've received multiple offers already. She says it's a unique property and would love for whoever takes over the property to honor the legacy of Jerry Lee Lewis. Live in studio, Parker King, Action News 5.